folks let me look into what TF just happened. Are we back? I have 10 viewers. Hello, everybody. Get on. Oh, God. How many voices, motherfucker? Uh. Get on, sir. Don't tell me you're not interested. I try it, man. No, thank you. <laughs> Pay the man, council. All right, all right, sixpence it is. Yeah, what we get it so now you got the listening ears on? Two, these three, X. Chariot, chariot. I can see it on the thing right when the steam crashed, but I was saying that Kazuma is right about the hut being the base of operations for the Reaper. Well, that's just spoilers. <sighs> oh, look at these jokers. Between us. Couple on slight suits is just her twins. That's it? Ugh. Is that it? No, that's not it. It's gossip, isn't it? It wants to spread, but that bit's up to you and your mouth, of course. Got more, you know. Want another juicy one? Six pence two is just curious. I'm curious, yes, about what's going on just under that fat bottom lip of yours. Namely, that unusual bruise or whatever's poking out from under your collar. What about the next witness then? What name do you go by and what do you sell? Me. Oh, you're so oh, gorgeous. Look, it's the great witch Jessel, the girl in the cloak. She's cute. 
She looks like li like a blonde Red Robin Hood. Red Robin Hood? Red Riding Hood. Sorry, I'm putting my blank on because it's cold. I'm Venus. That's a technical Fun, I'll sell these lovely little fireworks to all the local skin kids. Six pence a pop, what do you say? Uh, you weren't exaggerating with little. Do they actually sell? Oh yeah. Second years just Did she just strike that match on her? Fire. Never mind. Yes, she did. Because she's got a pair of hot buns. Especially if I tell them they'll get a hundred they can help the school. Not the most savory of ideas, young lady. She looks kinda like a smug S Bella Cantabella to me. That is literally what Young Bounty Girl said. Damn you on a roll. Thank you. <laughs> to be fair, that one was staring me right in the face. What you say then, Mums? No. Wait, what? Y you want me to buy one? Tell you what, I let you in on this secret. If you get a hundred of them, you can blow up the whole courtroom. Dude, stop! No, I'm not blowing up the courtroom! Right, alright, I'll buy one. Lovely stuff, right then. Something a bit extra just for you. The Venus special, only 600 pence. I'm not giving you 600 pence. Don't you know what I am, nobody? You know 30, that's Espella's ancestor. Believable this time. Do it. More arson. Burn! I'm the last witness. Oh, I know this guy. He showed up in the... Set the court on fire. Yeah, this is that guy from the, um... That's the tram worker -y. Yeah. Question mark. A young bounty girl, yeah. Oh, the omnibus driver. Beppo, in case you forgot his name. <laughs> Beppo. What a stupid name. Pity. No Not more purchases today, please. Eggs. Beppo sandwich. They conduct their businesses on Fresno Street from morning until night, my lord. And always in the same place, directly adjacent to the crime. I guess Beppo became broke after the funeral expenses for Phoenix Wright the Omnibus. I guess so. God, I don't have the energy for these two idiots. Three idiots. These two idiots and the idiot at idiot? Idiot! Idiot! Woo! Lol XD. That's my new favorite thing. Now whenever I call a girl an idiot, I can call them an idiot. We sold a hive. Oh god, we sold a whole thing. The two and the stewjet. The stewjet, yes! We sold well, a whole thing. Well, the energy came finished. back pretty quick. <laughs> it's because I came up with a word and I got excited. <laughs> it was less than a minute after the replay goes inside and we all heard a big bang. Seems to me the quick talk is quick to walk. Gossip couldn't wait to go see what it has happened. I mean, I ran to the courtroom and there it was. The reaper gun and hand standing over the dead bodies. I was scared up to death, so I ran off to find a cop back. Oh, she's cute! Although she's totally, like, acting flirty. So, you know, I don't. Any character that intentionally acts flirty in these games, I automatically do not trust them. 
I know everything. My favorite character is Dahlia. I know better than to trust fuckers like this. If these witnesses were there the whole day and saw everything, who did they see going inside the building? Only the victim, Inspector Gregson, and the accused. Except Eric for Madam Tussles, of course. Winking face. Mm. Wait, what about two spells? What did I do? She oh, is definitely yes. planning to blow up several buildings purely with fireworks. I was meant to be yours, so when the high school gym goes boom, with everyone inside, pew, 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 in the rubble of their tomb, we'll place the snow explaining why they died. Sorry. Him, no, but do you know 30? I wouldn't consider her the flirty type. She's just naturally cute. She's not cute. She could absolutely murder me with wax. She has threatened to do that multiple times, and I would absolutely let her. She's so good. God damn, Tusk Spells could fucking kill me. There are some characters I would die for, and some characters I would let kill me. She is both of them. A young bounty girl, no, no, she's got a point. Attempted wax murder is pretty cute. Hell yeah! The fact that Tuspels was just a very honest witness and acted really creepy is the best part about her. I need to stop bringing things up. X. I mean, what did you bring up earlier that brought up Alboro? Because that's clipped now, and I'm so angry about it, but also, I love it. Thank you for candy. I totally missed it. What did he say? Kazuma is the one that could kill me from a heart attack. Yes, thank you, my lord. That man should not have two swords. I imagine I'd find him a lot more attractive if he just picked one. I have to break down this testimony somehow. I'm sorry, I hate gossip. Thanks for not getting upset when we interrupt your gameplay, by the way. That'd be really frustrating for me. Yo, I'm here to vibe with y'all. <laughs> I'm here to play the game and vibe with y'all, because y'all are my friends. Hold it! I just need to start dark I will take rooms. the British sword and keep it safe. You know what he should do? You know what I would allow him to do? I would allow him to use the, the British sword during investigations and the Jap and the, the katana during trial. That'd be cool. That'd be an interesting thing. Inspector Gregson and the defendant, Lord Van Zeeks. Or suppose so. Uh, not, uh, the lot so no, 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 okay. I don't care. Well, I'll tell you one thing. It was the old reaper that went in there, for sure and certain. Just behind Inspector Gregson, did they arrive at the same time as each other? No, no, not at all. First fellow must have gone inside a good 15 minutes before he had a gunshot. The victim arrived 15 minutes before. Are you sure about that? Am I sure? Am I sure? Does seem likely that I've forgotten a fellow who brought it there, does it? Does it? Yes, it was really red, wasn't it? Redder than my flame of fire, let's say, even. That fire of red mob mob still burns inside my eye. It's his. Wait a minute, you're saying the man was a redhead? What you listening to? I'm ready. Only those worthy may take that sword. <laughs> Bold to assume I wouldn't take it anyways. I'm not worthy, but I would absolutely steal it. And he had a big trunk with him as well. But Inspector Gregson's hair isn't red, not by any stretch of the imagination. Seems that Inspector, uh, wasn't, you all saw, was in fact Mr. Gregson, a home, but in third party. 
No, I hate to break it to you, but the witnesses are correct. What? Just have a look at this photograph of the witness taken at the scene. My god, that looks so dumb. I don't know why that sounded so weird to me when you said that. Just to touch it. I would fucking take it and commit seppuku upon him. Just murder him myself. A young bounty girl TMI. <laughs> of all the fucking people, of all the people I expected to make that joke. Of all the people, James, I was not expecting you to make the penis joke. Good fucking god, what has the world come to? I still refuse to believe that Inspector Grayson wore a hairpiece, though, so then why on earth would he have had been wearing something like that? I just said too much information, didn't I? Yes, but it's absolutely clear your connotation, and I just wasn't ready. Well, he did hire you. And what became of that trunk that the red-headed victim was supposedly carrying? I was informed that it okay, no I trunk guess that one was, was on me. On XD. So it just disappeared. What? You expect us to have been watching the building every second, do you? We definitely True. saw his knees up. Okay, you know, no question about that. Da -da 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 I've been hanging around you guys too long, winking face. We're tainting you! By which presumably you mean the gunshot. Oh, I sell these little things, don't I? How would I know what gunshot sounds like? But before we start it, this probably sounds a bit like this, doesn't it? And you say that you heard the noise almost as soon as you saw the defendant enter the building. That's right, it's almost straight away. Bang, it went, just like that. Well, he's a raper, isn't he? That's what the French call a fake accompli. When the raper's around, people are going to the ground. I mean, that's what he does, isn't it? I think we get the message. The Reaper couldn't allow the Inspector to live after he discovered a secret hideout. There can be no clearer motive for the crime. Okay. Great. And at that point, you ran inside. Is that correct? At least the firecrackers sounding like a gunshot sounds more believable than a balloon popping. Yes, I think that was stupid. A balloon? What? What are you talking about? So, when the gossip ran to see what had happened, did you go too? Well, me, I'm a bit hampered to see all the signs that that I can't remember. The last case of the first game, if I recall correctly. The the first game of this duology, or the first game is in Rise from the Ashes. Great burden, you bear. Pardon me for asking, Mr. Um, Sandwich, but. Ace Attorney Investigations K had popped a balloon. The judge heard it from the bathroom and thought it was a gunshot. Oh, yeah. It's been a long time since I played that, too. The I'm gonna be real, the only thing I remember from Ace Attorney Investigations is Callisto, and that's because she's the best character in, this, in the games. In that duology, she's the best. Is it possible you and I have met before? 
I'm no 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 not any bubble see the signs are what make me who I am now I sign therefore I am so you weren't employed as an omnibus driver just under a year ago then I might be mistaken but I believe his trembling has intensified Mr. Narahodo yes I agree he's clearly been through a lot turn down King Henry Street and the b -b -b black b -b -b widow arms j j just th th there. Oh dear, you've made him hide behind his sign. Life is full of surprises. So, then, you were the first person to arrive on the scene that night. Then I was kicked down the door like a professional. I did not hear that. Oh, wait, I'm giving him the wrong voice. Not hear that. What's going on out there? Lord Van Zeek claims he heard was a man scream, though. And it was dark inside that room. No, not dark at all. There were candles burning on the wall. Really? Uh, excuse me. And there was a fella collapsed on the floor. Just between us, it's the first thing I noticed when I got inside. Gregson is haunting their voices. Apparently, Gregson was just like, I want you to do my voice one last time, hon. Can you do that for me, Peaches? I see. Even though Lord Van Zeek claims not to have seen any such lights on the wall. Next thing I noticed was someone standing right inside the body. <laughs> right beside the body, not inside. The accused, Beric Van Zyck. Z's, whatever. That's right, the pale face right for himself. I was a little shocked, I won't deny it, but I'm no little, little coward. I should mm. around and take that rig for what he wanted. Excuse me! Do you have something to add, Mr. Sandwich? The, 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 there's really no, 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 nothing to me. Empty in the, 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 the head that I I am. Um, just two slices with no, 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 no mid, middle. So, so, so I don't know what you could want with me. I think that maybe you just remembered something. Having heard Mr. Gossip's last statement, I mean. What I th 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 think is, we're all no, 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 nothings, really. We try to, to, to dress ourselves up as, as, as something else, but, but at the end of the day, we're all just street sellers. That's enough out of you, sandwich. Keep your trap shut now. Unless you want us to make you a real sandwich. When That's I what Ryan's the, the, the in the Phoenix Wright games. All the bluffing is Ryanusuke having already known what's going on and speaking through Phoenix. That's it. Hey, you rotten beggar! I told you to keep that secret. He screamed, did, and screamed and scrambled off for 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 That's what I wanted to say. Mr. Gossip, is this true? The floor was dead slippery, that's why. Plenty of my hands on a filthy pool of blood, didn't I? Yuck! What? I'm a joking, pool of blood? I'm sure you are, it's fine. But listen here, when I was thrown on the floor, I kept giving that reaper a cold hard stare and don't you forget it. Did you say you got blood on your hands? Or did I? That must be the best of that time. But I was scared, so I slipped over. You can keep it just between us, can't we? No, Mr. Gossip, I'm going to have to ask you to add that information to your formal testimony. Oh, I must. The witness will amend his testimony to add this information to it. I must present the picture of the crime scene. Hold it! Testing the auto court record now to see if I have a picture of that. There is no staining. Oh, da, 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 oh my god. 
This picture's really hard to look at now. Kazuma has those dots. What dots? Well, who wants to run this all day? All the stuff, and they want to help I do it. Oh, not at all. Uh, Quick question, no, you usually start streaming in the afternoon, correct? I'm working on the post for RR. I stream... Shows. Ah. In, uh, James, I stream every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday at 2.30pm Pacific Standard Time. So, you know. Thanks. 2.30 Pacific Standard Time, 5.30 Eastern Standard Time, etc. Don't come at me for that. You can't intimidate me. I knew what I did. I walked it off on the floor. The blood. No, you didn't. I checked the picture. I wonder, could that be what had happened? Mr. Naruhodo, I don't have all the answers yet, but I think we may have just uncovered a vital clue. Bastard, 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 you are bastard. I hate your voice, you tear at my face. What the fuck happened to your throat, dude? Objection! Fuck. Present. The last statement was contradictory in a number of ways, I think you'll find. A number of ways, you say? That's right, my lord, a number of ways. Perhaps it would serve you well to concentrate your efforts on one contradiction at a time, Council. Uh, I made a bit of a mess of that. In a number of ways, actually. This doesn't give you Kazuma's savagery. Yeah, I'm not trying to get Kazuma's savagery. Lord, good lord. Fingers? That's a thing right there! Oh my god! Oh, what's this? Mr. Arahedo, look! Oh yes, it's a smudge of some kind. In fact, it looks just like a handprint. And the colour! That's blood, isn't it? Oh dear, how disturbing. Ah! Got it. I'm, in, I'm just a hasty idiot. Objection! So you wiped the blood from your hand on the floor of the room. Are you quite sure about that? Well, well, where else would you expect me to don it? It doesn't Objection. really matter. Police found no such handprint on the floor. It might not be blood. It might just be Herlock's hair dye. Herlock's hair dye was something he ingested, though. What exactly is the Objection. defense asserting? If you listen, you'll find out, Prosecutor Asoki. Hair dye isn't the thick. Oh yeah, I went on Asuki's attorney earlier today, and I love this question that somebody asked to Gavin. Dear unfriendly suit enthusiast, I hate to disappoint you, but I don't get bullied for my dress in prison. I get roughed up for other reasons. It's a very Kristoff thing to say, and he absolutely deserves it, because that piece of shit. Bum, 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 bum. Bum, bum. There was a handprint in blood very clearly at the scene. Oh, young dancy girl, I forgot to ask, how was your hair hairstyling uh, 
adventure, I guess is the word. On the back of the notice board.